In response to a friend's video, I mentioned that I know I don't need protection because I am the creator of my reality. The person had a question. If you were crossing the street and struck by a car, would you say you created that experience? Would you really believe you manifested injury or death due to a higher awareness of how such a thing was necessary? I replied, There are times when we are hit by misfortune, and though the human part of us does not want that experience, the soul knows that the experience will help us grow. We are not separate from our soul. We are one. So yes, even though I didn't want my house to burn down, I know my soul saw benefit from that experience. Six years later, I see the benefit. I have no separation from my soul. So anything my soul brought in for me to experience is something I created. Life happens for me, not to me. The person had a question. What about an issue like family betrayal or a sexual abuser? I wonder why or how the universe benefits or must put forth challenging experiences like that. I replied, no child chooses to be abused, just as no woman chooses to be raped. These things happen in our world because hurt people hurt people. When an abuser attacks someone, they are projecting their own self-hatred and inner turmoil onto the other person in hopes that that person will hurt as much as they do. This is a karmic behavior that will cause the abuser to experience more pain in their next life. I was abused as a child. And the choice that I had as an adult is to be a victim of that abuse or to see what wisdom I gained from that experience. I choose to see the wisdom. And thus, that is why I write the children's books that I write, that teach them all about victim and emotions. Some people wonder why God or the universe allows bad things to happen. But one of the laws is that human beings have free will to make choice. And in that free will, some make decisions that hurt others. This is not loved by the universe, but it is a fact of life in this polarity that we live in where there's good and evil. When the world steps up to 5D, fifth dimension, then the polarity can go away and the world will be in peace. 